Good afternoon, Milan. Many years ago, after my Milan days, I was blessed by having as a college professor a remarkable scholar, Father Donald Xavier Burt. Father Burt was a member of the Augustinian order and a great expert on the life and works of St. Augustine. He fostered in me a great love for the saint, who was a man of God who certainly had lived quite an imperfect life. This afternoon, let us pray our examine using the thoughts of Father Burr based on the ideas of St. Augustine. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. St. Ignatius wants us to ask God for the light to see Him. He wants us to understand that He is always present. St. Augustine also believed in the constant presence of God, and he insisted that we first had to believe in order to understand. He wrote, Believe that you may understand understand that you may believe. At times, we want to decipher God. We want to have specific proofs in order to believe, and we fail to realize that God is not to be proven. He is not to be rationalized. He is to be loved and accepted. Take a moment to realize that God is beyond understanding if we fail to first trust Him and believe in His presence. We constantly give thanks for all the benefits we receive. St. Augustine was especially grateful for his freedom, a freedom different from what most people imagine. St. Augustine's views of freedom included freedom from error, the freedom to be able to move away from those moments and experiences that may hinder our relationship with God. Augustine's experience of freedom came about through an encounter with the Word of God in scriptures that made him realize that freedom is not something to be achieved by our own power. We are free because God wants us to be free in order to truly be close to Him. For that freedom, for all the gifts that we have received, let us take a moment and express our gratitude. One of St. Augustine's best known saying is a request made to the Lord when he wrote, Jesus, let me know myself, let me know you. Augustine realized that one cannot know God without reference to oneself, and one cannot know oneself without reference to God. To understand who we are, we must know ourselves, and to do that, we need to always bring back to our minds what we do, what we think, what we hope. To understand how we love God, we must first need to have Him present in our actions. Take a moment and go through the day and go with your actions your thoughts, your wishes, and ask yourselves, did they make me a better person or not? If we realize that we were not at times what we hope to be, take a moment to ask God for forgiveness. St. Augustine for many years was quite different from what God wanted of him, but at the precise time of his life, he realized God's love for him and it changed his life. Any life can change as soon as a person comes to understand that no matter what the past has been, God wants a better future for all. Lastly, be certain that we can always do what St. Augustine calls transcend yourself. He wrote, When I enter the realm of the heart, I discover God's image in me. I am an image of God, and therefore God alone can provide the horizon to my life. To know myself, I must come in contact with the one who created me. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Lady of Belen, pray for us. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. St. Augustine, ora pro nobis.